I want to sit next to Nettie because she's just my sister from another mister, so we have a great time watching movies, singing along. Um, don't want to sit next to Gary because he doesn't like to sing and he doesn't like to watch movies with me and if the hostie comes around with an ice cream, I can't take it because I'm next to the coach. <laughs> Who I don't want to sit next to, Matt Gilmore. Um, <laughs> He dribbles on your shoulder, he snores. Well, I think probably the best teammates are, are two of the coaches, Gary Sutton and Tim Decker, because they fall asleep before we've even taxied out of the airport. Definitely Matt Gilmore. Um, the noises that come out of Matt Gilmore when he's asleep just keeps everybody else awake while he's, uh, he's churning away, having a good sleep. I guess I could say Alex, my brother, for both of them. Um, he can be, when he's in his hypo mood, he can be the worst teammate, uh, bugging you or poking you or, yeah, always needing to go to the toilet on purpose. <laughs> uh, but also, he's a very good sleeper, so once he's gone past that hypo mood, he goes to sleep and it's a perfect, perfect person to sit next to. Combo, I guess, um, Betty May is a really good person to sit next to if she's got the aisle, because um, she gets up and down a lot, she likes to walk, you know, um, and she'll make you get up and walk and stretch and do all that sort of stuff as well. Um, so if you're on the aisle and she's on the inside she, and you're asleep, um, you know, you've got to get up to let, let her out. Uh, and sometimes best and worst combo was actually Scott Sunderland to sit next to, because if you couldn't sleep, he was great to talk to, but if you wanted to sleep, he, const he still wanted to talk to you, so... <laughs> Oh, that's easy. Matt Gilmore without fail. I mean, uh, when, when he falls asleep, he keeps the plane awake. Um, I don't like sitting next to the Sprint boys, so like a Nathan Hart or Matthew Glazer, because they have such big shoulders. So, fingers crossed that I'm not sitting next to them. So, definitely a small endurance rider like an Amy Cure or somebody like that is my preference. <laughs> I'd have to say the worst to sit next to is Matt, purely because he's too big for plane seats and takes up too much space. His quads are too big, so 